Have you ever wondered when the first space shuttle soared into the vast expanse of the cosmos? The year was 1981, the date, April 12th. The world stood still, eyes glued to their television screens, hearts pounding with anticipation as the space shuttle Columbia prepared for its maiden voyage into the great unknown. This was not just any ordinary launch, it was the dawning of a new era in space exploration. Born out of a vision to make space accessible and routine, Columbia was unlike anything anyone had seen before. It was not just a vessel, it was a symbol of human ingenuity, a testament to our insatiable curiosity and our relentless drive to push the boundaries of the possible. This was the culmination of years of research, development, and testing. Columbia was the first of its kind, a reusable spacecraft designed to journey to space and back over and over again. This was a groundbreaking concept at the time, challenging the norm of one-time use rockets. The launch of Columbia was a testament to the advancements in technology that had been made. It was powered by three main engines, fed by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen from an external fuel tank. Attached to the sides were two solid rocket boosters, reusable just like the shuttle itself. These technological marvels propelled Columbia into space, reaching speeds of over 17,500 miles per hour. But it wasn't just the technology that made this moment significant. It was the human element, the courage of the two astronauts aboard, John W. Young and Robert L. Crippen, who dared to venture where few had gone before. Their bravery, their commitment to advancing human knowledge, was a beacon of inspiration to us all. As Columbia ascended into the heavens, it marked a pivotal moment in our history. It represented a leap forward in our cosmic journey, a step closer to understanding the mysteries of the universe. With the successful launch of Columbia, the era of space shuttles had begun, opening new horizons for mankind. The launch of Columbia was just the beginning of an extraordinary journey. A journey that would witness the evolution of space shuttles, each with its unique features, missions, and stories to tell. In the years following Columbia, a fleet of shuttles took to the skies playing a pivotal role in our exploration of the cosmos. Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis, and Endeavor, names that would leave indelible marks on the annals of space history. Challenger, the second shuttle to reach space, quickly became a workhorse of NASA's fleet. It conducted numerous scientific missions and was the first to launch and land at night. But it's perhaps best remembered for its tragic final mission, which served as a stark reminder of the risks involved in space travel. Then came Discovery, the third shuttle, which would go on to become the most flown spacecraft in history. Discovery carried the Hubble Space Telescope into orbit, opening our eyes to the far reaches of the universe like never before. It also played a crucial role in the construction of the International Space Station. Next, we saw Atlantis, a shuttle that pushed the boundaries of what was possible. It was the first to dock with the Russian Mir space station, marking a significant step forward in international cooperation in space. Finally, there was Endeavour, the youngest of the fleet. Endeavour was instrumental in numerous repair missions, including the dramatic rescue of the Hubble Space Telescope. It also marked the first mission to include four spacewalks. Each of these shuttles, with their distinctive attributes and missions, played a role in expanding our knowledge of space. They carried astronauts into the unknown, conducted groundbreaking research, and fostered international cooperation. They were more than just vehicles, they were symbols of human ambition and ingenuity. Each shuttle, with its distinctive attributes, contributed significantly to our understanding of the universe. Their legacy continues to inspire us as we reach for the stars, reminding us of where we've been and pointing the way to where we might go next. Triumphs are often accompanied by tragedies and the journey of space shuttles is no exception. In the realm of space shuttles one of the brightest triumphs was the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. This incredible piece of technology was delivered to space by the shuttle Discovery in 1990. Hubble has been instrumental in our understanding of the universe providing us with breathtaking images and invaluable data for over three decades. It's an achievement that continues to shape our knowledge of the cosmos. Another victory was the International Space Station, a symbol of international cooperation and scientific advancement. Space shuttles played a crucial role in its assembly, delivering modules, supplies, and astronauts to this unique outpost in space. The ISS stands as a testament to what we can achieve when we reach for the stars together. But the journey was not always smooth. The Challenger disaster in 1986 and the Columbia disaster in 2003 were dark days in space exploration. These tragedies resulted in the loss of 14 astronauts, 
brave individuals who gave their lives in the pursuit of knowledge and exploration. These incidents served as stark reminders of the inherent risks and dangers of venturing into the final frontier. The Challenger disaster led to a hiatus in shuttle launches and a complete reassessment of NASA's safety procedures. The Columbia disaster, similarly, brought about a pause in shuttle flights and a re-evaluation of the shuttle program itself, ultimately leading to its retirement. Yet in the face of these tragedies we've seen resilience and determination. These incidents were not the end but rather a catalyst for change and improvement. Following these disasters safety became an even greater priority, leading to significant enhancements in spacecraft design and procedures. The story of space shuttles is a tale of highs and lows, of remarkable achievements and heartbreaking losses, but through it all, the spirit of exploration has endured, driving us to learn, to improve, and to continue our journey into the cosmos. These incidents were heartbreaking, yet they led to important safety improvements and reinforced our resolve to explore the cosmos. All good things must come to an end, and so did the era of space shuttles. The space shuttles were the workhorses of our space program for over three decades. The final farewell came on a clear morning on July 21, 2011, when the Atlantis touched down for the last time at the Kennedy Space Center. This marked the end of the space shuttle program, a decision that was not taken lightly. So, why did this era come to an end? There were several reasons. First, the cost of maintaining and operating the space shuttles was high. Every launch cost approximately half a billion dollars, and that's not even including the upkeep and refurbishment required between missions. Second, despite their many successes, the shuttles were not without their flaws. The tragic losses of the Challenger in 1986 and Columbia in 2003 were stark reminders of the risks involved in space travel. But perhaps the most influential reason was the shift in our space exploration goals. The shuttles were designed for low Earth orbit missions, like building and servicing the International Space Station. But as we set our sights further afield, to destinations like Mars and beyond, a different kind of spacecraft was needed, one that could withstand the rigors of deep space travel. Despite its retirement, the Space Shuttle program made an indelible mark on the history of space exploration. It made space more accessible, launching hundreds of astronauts and countless scientific experiments into orbit. It was instrumental in constructing the International Space Station, a testament to international cooperation and scientific advancement. And let's not forget the Hubble Space Telescope. Without the shuttles, we wouldn't have been able to repair and upgrade this invaluable tool, opening our eyes to the wonders of the universe like never before. While the space shuttles may no longer soar into the cosmos, their legacy lives on. The space shuttles may have been retired, but their influence is far from over. As we delve into the legacy of space shuttles, we're reminded of the fascinating facts that make them an integral part of our journey into the cosmos. These winged orbiters transformed our understanding of space travel, making it more accessible and routine. They were the workhorses of space exploration, launching satellites, conducting scientific experiments, and even building the International Space Station. The space shuttles were marvels of engineering. They were the first reusable spacecraft, a concept that revolutionized space exploration. With the ability to land like an airplane, they could return to Earth, undergo refurbishment, and be flown again. This drastically reduced the cost of space missions and opened up new possibilities for scientific discovery. They also played a pivotal role in fostering international cooperation in space. The construction of the International Space Station, a symbol of global unity in space, was largely made possible by space shuttles. They carried large modules and other components into orbit piece by piece, creating a habitable laboratory that orbits our planet. Space shuttles were also a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. Despite tragic losses, each one taught us invaluable lessons making subsequent missions safer and more efficient. They reminded us that space exploration is a challenging endeavor that requires immense courage, determination, and an unyielding spirit of exploration. As we look towards the future, the influence of space shuttles is evident in the new generation of spacecraft. Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are developing reusable rockets, 